Hey everybody, this is Eric Nam, and this show is brought to you by Mindset by Dive Studios. Now, before you just fast forward this sweet, amazing little um, advertisement, I just want to tell you that Mindset is something that we've worked on so much, so hard here at Dive Studios. So please, if you haven't done so already, please check it out. You can go to GET Mindset, getmindset.com, or go to the link in the description of this podcast episode, or you can go to my Instagram or my socials, and there's a link in my bio. Now, what is Mindset? Mindset, okay, is a very important application where we have stories and boosters and all sorts of tidbits and personal intimate collections of audio from myself and other artists that are coming very very soon you guys can enjoy it and if you take part and you purchase you get access to a live free q a with me eric nam and you're giving to a great charity it's called doctors without borders and you are going to enjoy some really good content so so many good things come out of this one thing called mindset again go to getmindset.com to check it out now back to your show Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Get Real, hosted Get Real. by us, BM from Card. Me, Ash. And Peniel of B2B. Where we get honest about the ups and downs of young adulthood, but from our perspective. And once again, we have our guest, Jamie, Hi. in the house. Jamie! Yeah. Yeah. Thank Hi. you again. Hi. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you. And in today's episode, we're talking about clout. 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 Now, clout. Yes, this is a term that's been popularized in more recent years, especially with social media and in a growing world of influencers and public figures who try to stay relevant to a mass audience. How has the idea of clout impacted people's behavior and the way they enter social circles? Watch out for them chasers though. Before we get into it, Interact with us on our socials at The Dive Studios or leave us a comment on our full episode, episode videos at youtube.com slash divepods. Subscribe to the podcast on Spotify and Apple Music. Leave a review on Apple Podcasts so more people can know about our show and join in on the fun. Yes. Five stars only. Good reviews only. Good reviews only. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's get into it. Clout. I feel like… Hold on, I got a question. Who What's wrote up? this? Who wrote this script? <laughs> okay, so reading straight <laughs> off the script. For those who don't know, probably Peniel. <laughs> probably Peniel. What is cloud? Do you know what cloud is, Peniel? Yes, I know what cloud is. <laughs> who wrote this? Who the, <laughs> <laughs> the form, the informal definition is influence or power, especially in politics or business. Mm. Mm. Really, politics or business. Okay. Oh, I didn't know they used the word cloud in politics. Yeah, I didn't know that either. <laughs> I thought it was just for Instagrammers. Yeah. Instagrammers. I feel like in recent years, cloud has had… Um, uh, not recent years, but when the when the word cloud first started being in use, mm. there was a very negative connotation used with it. I thought mm-hmm. it was a negative connotation. Yeah. <gasps> so, all oh, you doing it for the clout. All you yeah, doing yeah, it yeah. for like that type of attention. And usually it ties in like with what you said. Instagram or yeah, like social right. media and all that mm. stuff. Like mm-hmm. Friendships. Yeah. Why are you being extra on social media for that, you know, for that clout or whatever. And um, nowadays, I don't know. I feel like it's normalized. I think it's just something that um, smart people would do. Yeah. Now it's like… Uh, uh, it's like promotion, a marketing. Promotion, marketing, right, marketing. Yeah. Promotion. Yeah. It's like moves now. It's crazy. I mean I think if it's, it's just, not legal. Yeah. I think it's just… Mm. It just depends on how you do it now. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. There's like I feel like there's like levels to it now too. Like you can kind of tell when they're being a little bit too much of a cloud chaser. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Like if you're being like way too, I guess cloudy. Yeah, <laughs> we could say cloudy. It's cloudy. Yeah. Do you guys know how to spot a cloud ch- cloud chaser? Yeah. I feel like there's you, a word for. Did you have one though? Huh? Did you have one? A cloud chaser. I feel like there would be a lot around you guys. A cloud like chaser. People like even friends, maybe not like friends, but uh, acquaintances uh. who are trying to like you know like get close mm-hmm. to you, yeah. like, because yeah, sure. they can get something out mm-hmm. of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to see how they treat other people, because mm-hmm. they'll be treating them very differently yeah. from how they treat you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm-hmm. um, a big one. But I don't know the difference. Um, for asking help from me mm-hmm. that I can give. Mm-hmm. And like asking me because they want something from me. You know? Mm. It's 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 similar. So like being close because they know you got clout and like I could get a couple extra followers off of you. But it's still like they're still talking to me, right? Yeah. That's… I mean… 
So what's the difference? It's really hard to um, spot it out. I feel like there really is no difference. Mm. I feel like it's the same thing pretty much. Um, it depends on how you get it though. If you think yeah. that you can help them in a way and you can see something that you can take out of them if they treat you like that. I think it'd be fine for some people but… Yeah. I feel like for the most part though… Clout and… Um, when you when you need to sell something like marketing something… Bless you. Mm-hmm. Supply and demand like… If I'm trying to sell let's say this this cap… Oh wow. I need to have a lot of people that know about this cap right? Mm-hmm. No cap. So I need no cap. Like <laughs> I need everyone need to know about this. So you know if you got 100,000 followers or a million followers or 3 million followers… I got 10 followers. I'm tied with Jamie. <laughs> you know I mean? yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. like oh. it's cuz clout and 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 money have a very close tie with okay. each other, you know? No, what I'm sure. get, yeah. yeah. No, that's like you. the main reason people want clout. Exactly. To make money. Exactly, mm. exactly. Yeah. I mean, if you think about what runs the world these days, like social media is is like everything, especially right. for the younger generation. YouTube and everything, right? Everyone's clout hungry these days. Everyone. But do you, you have some anyone stupid- next what? Do you have anyone next next to you though? I think we've all had one person at least yeah. that's been like that. You know, that's kind of treat treats someone with no followers like, mm. oh, you're nothing. But like when they when they meet Jamie, it's like, oh, Jamie, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you you've never met anyone like that? No, no we all know one no. person. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. No, I think another big thing is like their group of friends just keeps changing. That's a yeah, yeah hood hopper. That's a are we talking about? <laughs> okay. Huh? Yeah. Um, <laughs> we are. Okay. So <laughs> I, I honestly oh, feel yeah. like clout isn't bad anymore. It's almost like a necessity these days. But the the your like Yeah, it's but, like but the way you get it, the way mm, you try to for get sure, it. For sure, for sure. You know, if it's not sincere, I feel like it's it's, it's kinda whack. Oh, but then know? if I feel that kind of way, I don't mess with them, right? No, yeah. not yeah, at all. That's good, that's good. And it's easy to kind of see okay, them yeah. I, I feel bad yeah, when they talk you gotta, to me. So you gotta just, no. see how they treat other people. Yeah. Mm. I think that's the main thing. But how do you say no to them? You just say no. Okay. I don't know. I just kind of give them a vibe. Like I'm not trying to be like tight with you. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I think all of us… We yeah. wear our hearts on our sleeves. So yeah. people can kind of tell. Unless you they really… You got a resting bitch face. <laughs> So people know, especially with you, yeah, which is good. If yeah. they ask you something and I don't want to, like, I don't want to do it for them, mm-hmm. you just, just like, be um, like, oh, nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, yeah, I think you just gotta be straightforward if they're like asking you favors that you're not comfortable doing. Yeah, but yeah, but it's really uh, it's hard, hard to, to say, no. say no. In, yeah, especially in Korea and to people who's related to your friends. No. Yeah, and then. They ask Aww. you and then like if it, okay. even though it's an offer, it's really mm-hmm. hard to say. Oh, can tell now. One yeah. one example is this. I met you for the first time, right? It's been 15 minutes. I met you for 15 minutes. We haven't really chopped it up or like talked really about anything Ourself, to get to yeah. know each other, right? Mm-hmm. But you pull out your phone like, oh yo, I do hey, Instagram. Phone. Yeah, you wanna follow each oh. other? That's a big sign. That's like, you know. I hate those guys. Yeah, yeah. That's a little bit too and, much. And that when I can say no directly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I only follow people that I know. No. Sorry. I don't know you. Damn. Sorry. Yeah. Or I follow yeah. them in front of them and then unfollow right back. I in do front that. Of them. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you yeah. right in front of them? Yeah. When while I'm talking, yeah. I follow I show them I followed it and then unfollow again. Damn. You know, you know if um Love it. if you don't want them following you, you can uh, block them and then if you unblock them, they're not following you either. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like district, yeah. Huh? district or unblock. Yeah, yeah so just you just unblock. you block oh. and then unblock and Damn. then you're not yeah. following them and they're not following you. <laughs> and there's these people that has no nunchi at all. Like mm-hmm. I showed them I don't want to follow them and mm-hmm. they're like, "Why aren't you following me?" I'm like, "Girl, oh my god, yeah." Because I don't want to. Your feeds all all about your boobies and butt and like what the fuck do I want from that? I mean, if it's about Yes, I would, but no. <laughs> the only boobies and booty I like is mine. mine. <laughs> yeah, <my mama's>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I hate people who has like been asking me to follow them, mm-hmm. and I just said like I just met them like for fifteen minutes. Like what BM said. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what do you want? That's a bit yeah, much. I, I had a really awkward encounter once. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to like a bar, right, mm-hmm. and then I went kind of late, 
And I got there and my friends were already there and like everyone was already kind of drunk. And then um, this girl that was like, I just, I just like, it was like the only empty seat. I sat there and there was like a girl sitting across from me and they were like, like, oh, like I shaved my head before too. And I was like, oh, I was like, I mean, that, okay. I was good, like, good. I was like, I was like, oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> nice icebreaker conversation, I guess. All of a sudden they're like, hey, can we be friends? I was like, what? I was because like, I was you like, were bald before? Okay. I was just, no, so I was just like, yeah, we could be friends. I was like, where's this going? And all mm-hmm. of a sudden they were like, yeah, let's follow each other on Instagram. I was like, yeah, I literally just got here. I was mm-hmm. like, what the? And I was just like, so I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, and then I was just going to give them my ID and then I wasn't going to follow them back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I just gave them my Instagram ID and then they're like, oh, you're not going to follow me back? Damn, he said that? Oh, that's yeah. really brave. Okay. That it was like, a guy? No, it was a girl. girl. Oh. Like, oh, you're, like, you're not going to follow me back? And I was just like, oh, I will. And then, but like, Instagram was like helping me or something. Like, it was like, it wasn't like, refreshing. <laughs> it wasn't refreshing. So wow. I, was like, I, was like, I was like, oh, it's not working. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> I'll follow you back later. And they're like, what? I was like, why aren't, I was like, you don't want to, I was like, are you famous? Why aren't you, fo-? I was like. Oh, oh, so she didn't know you were famous. Oh. I have no idea. <laughs> But then her friend was like, I think she knew. Like, I don't know. Of that course was like she weird. knew. Your pineal shin, dude. I know. <laughs> what does that mean? Your pineal <laughs> shin. Shit. Of course she knows that you're famous. But I was just like, like, who asks someone that? It's like, oh, like, are you famous? It's like, yeah. Mm. You're brave, hold on. You know, it's yeah. actually really hard to ask someone because that like, you don't know, like, to follow them back. Yeah. Unless you're that hungry for clout. Yeah. Maybe. She must be hungry. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so like, and that's when I did the okay, yeah, I follow you, and then I was like, black, I'm black. Oh my God. <laughs> Bye. Don't you guys have a lot of um, acquaintances? Not really necessarily close friends, but people who maybe started a business and ask you guys to post it yeah. on your Instagram. Yeah, I like, mean, I would love to help. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. like uh, what do you say? What do they call like um, a small gift, small mm-hmm. shop? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like a, a startup. Uh, a yeah, startup. small business. Mm-hmm. I would love to help, but if if it's something that, um, you know, like, they just want me to post it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because it's just something they want to promote. Promote. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's totally different when they ask you. The attitude when they ask you. Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. Different. The way they yeah. ask. Yeah. Sometimes they're just like, oh, here, look at this. Can you post it? And then you're just like, the f-? Yeah. like I haven't seen you in like years. I know, I know. At least ask me how I'm doing <laughs> instead of… <laughs> I just started a brand and I've Did been trying you do to get. That? Well, no, 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 not ever, not to, no, no, no. I I've been giving those shirts out to like people I'm just really close yeah, yeah, with yeah. that I would support. I didn't get that exactly. Shirt. You want one? <laughs> <laughs> I got you on three. Okay, it's like and some Type. people, <laughs> some people are just mean and they'll just see everything in a negative light. Because for us too, we're close friends, but of course, like you guys are. Um, what do I say? You guys are. Um, just you guys just, have a lot of influence mm-hmm. over your fans, and mm-hmm. you guys have a lot of fans. And some people will just see it kindly, like oh, best, uh, friends supporting each other, friends supporting each other. But then there will be times when people are like, "Stop using your friends!" Like, right, right, right. Yeah. And yeah. Then every post, if you go to their Instagram, the only photos they have is just like with people that's very. Um, famous. Oh yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. There are people yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. They're like yeah, yeah. tagging and they're like saying, "Oh, thank you, bro, for hanging out with me." And then mm-hmm. when you get to know them, they don't actually know each other. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, And then you just see you you on a tag and post, and you you just barely met them. And yeah. yeah. Who the f- is he? It's always like, um, yeah. oh, with my best friend Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah uh, I was at. Wait, I, I don't know if you were there. I don't remember. Um. But I remember I was hanging out with like a uh, few people mm-hmm. and they're all they were all like they're all either still in the industry or they were in the industry. Uh-huh. And I remember we were looking for they were looking I mean I wasn't I don't drink, but they were looking for a bar to drink at. And we went to like a random one. Mm-hmm. And some guy that I haven't seen in like seven, eight years. Yeah, I, even when I saw him like back then, I wasn't even close with him. Mm-hmm. But I saw him in like I don't know, maybe like three years. Mm-hmm. I think it's been like three years since the last time I saw him. Saw him, ran into him. And I was just like, oh, like, what the… I was like, why are they here? Yeah. I was like, I didn't even know they were still in Korea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh. But then like, um, they came over and they're like, oh, yo, like, how have you been? Uh, like, to like all of us. Yeah. 
And I, was, I wasn't even talking to him at first. And like he like, came over and was like, yo, let's take a picture. I was like… Well, I was like, I was like, oh hi, how have you been? <laughs> what? And then, and then, so like, all of us took a picture with him, right? Uh huh. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, all right. Like they said, we're gonna take a group picture. I was like, all right, whatever. We took a group picture. Immediately, Instagram. And then on, on Instagram. Instagram, they uploaded. It was like, yo, thanks for coming through to my birthday party. I was like, I was like, what the? Uh, f- it was your birthday. <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Dude, that's that's bad. Was like, that was like a bad. Don't like, they have integrity? <laughs> don't they feel don't like? Know. Don't they feel bad? When I about see those posts, I untag myself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. exactly. So do and I, then I DM yeah. them like but Insta story. You can't know. untag yeah. yourself. So All right, yeah. I say just delete it. My company doesn't want it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know. I found out through my mentions. They're like, oh, like, like, oh, Peniel hung out with who and who. I was just like, I did. Yeah. Mm. And especially it's really um sad if you were not in a good relationship with someone when mm-hmm. you were young. Like mm-hmm. for example, you got bullied by them. Mm-hmm. And then now they see you that you're famous. They like oh, attack and then, you and be like, do you remember me? Like we were best friends. <gasps> and then I don't know if this is for clout. But they posted on Instagram like my old photos with them. Ooh. And then they're like, oh I remember you. You're we really didn't good. I support you. And I'm just like… Mm. You were mean to me. <laughs> yeah, you just right, posted that. Okay. Yeah. That's a whack. They call me and said like… Can you talk to my friend? Because he, he was in Kunde, right? So uh. he added my phone number when he get, um, yeah, went oh, to the military. And okay. he was like… Yeah, like, Kiyongna, like, do you remember me? Like, My friend is really a big fan of you. Can you like so talk so to him? Yeah. Mm. I really don't like it when they ask you like… Can you talk to my friend? Yeah. Yeah. And they yes. don't even ask you like beforehand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's awkward. Yeah because you can't stay there when the other person's there like… Oh no. Like oh no I can't. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you can't be like… Nah I'm good. Like, <laughs> nah yeah. tell me no. And you suck at it too. <laughs> <laughs> and then they ask you to sing. F- okay, Shut that's up. Weird. Yeah I had a lot. That's I had okay. a lot. It's like… Phone calls? Can you sing Rolling in the Deep? It's and then I was okay, so dumb weird. and nice when I was young. I was like, there's a fire. <laughs> <laughs> in, in the middle of the street. And everyone was like, what the f is that? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm just talking for real. Oh, poor Jamie. Real oh, man. Okay. I was gonna say yeah, phone calls man. are okay, but that, that one's pretty bad. But was bad. I feel like phone calls are better than FaceTime at least. Oh, you know? yeah. yeah. That, those are the worst. Talking to okay. the family. Yeah. I'll get random face, yeah, I'll get random FaceTime calls. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, oh dang, I haven't talked to this person in a minute. I'm like, yo, what's up? And they're like, yeah, I'm with a friend. They're a big fan of yours. I'm like, oh, hi. What the <laughs> f- oh my god. I mean, I, I mean, it, it has to be clear. We love the support. Mm-hmm. We love the support, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. It's it's something awkward. that you should know that nobody will like when you call someone for like two to three years. You didn't, you haven't talked to anyone. Then just yeah. be like. Nothing happened, and then call you and just say yeah. what you want. And yeah. then end the call, and you, you don't talk to them again. No. Yeah. No. I, yeah. Oh, you want to say something? Yeah. I just picture something hella funny, like you know. Spit it out. If you were, if you were, if you were a fan of Leonardo DiCaprio and you saw Leonardo DiCaprio on the street, you're just like, yo, 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 do that one scene from Titanic where you die. You know. <laughs> like, you're not gonna be like, oh yeah, just give me one second. Let me get in the mood. Come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You know. There were so many stuff, people yeah. asking me to sing. Uh, yeah. For real on the phone. I, I mean, uh, not lying. You are a great singer though. Yeah, yeah but yeah. not on the phone, bro. Like That's kind of too much. It's heavy. Yeah. yeah. I was getting ready to sleep and they're like, Are you f***ing about TV? Can you sing Rolling the Deep? And I was so young. I was like, There is a… Oh my yeah. god. I'm not doing that these days. No. That's a, good. That's good. I had a similar experience too. Because my ex-boyfriend… Like the first ex-boyfriend… The one that I talked about in the last episode… That brought flowers and chocolates to my school. Uh-huh. Like after we broke up… We didn't talk for a while. And then… But we were still Instagram friends. And then one day like he hit me up… And he was like super nice to me. Because he started working out. He was like… I, I'll send you some like wor- protein… And like stuff that's good for your body. And I was like… Okay thanks. And then a few days later… Um, he was like, oh, what's your number? I'm going to add you on Kakao. And I was like, okay. And then he calls me and he's like, yo, my friend is a huge fan. Can you say hi to him? And I was like, I was like, I just woke up and I was barefaced. So I didn't want to show him my bare face. I was like, oh no, I don't think I can right now. I look really bad. And then yeah. he was like, why? And I was like, because I just woke up. I look like crap. And he was like, 
okay, whatever, okay, bye. And then he hung up, and wow. then he goes, "Yo, I thought we were closer than that." Yeah, you know, I yeah, thought, that's what exactly what I thought. I thought, you know, I thought we our relationship, you know, we had a good friendship, and then after that, he just blocked me and he just deleted me, and I was like, "What?" No. <laughs> if you're listening to this, you're. Uh, yeah, you're this wait, is, you're this guy lives in Korea? No, he's from America. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, I, like, the- I mean, read the room, bro. You ain't talked to me in you ain't talked to Ashley in like how many years and all of a sudden y'all close again. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, you're like best friends. If you yeah. say like, protein. I sent you some protein. I thought we were yeah. best friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh sh- that's what I have but to do. But did you get the protein? I did. Oh, okay. Then I don't know if you're a good friend to him. <laughs> no, but like, it was, yeah. was kind of like he, said, he so. said he offered it and he was like, I'll send it to you. So yeah. I was just like, okay. But like I ended up throwing stuff out because it's not like I'm like a heavy workout person. Yeah. I don't even yeah. know how to take these supplements and proteins. So. You know, if you read, there's no, uh, directions yeah. on the yeah. back. There were so many. <laughs> we, we, we need to take on that. Like, sorry. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We understand you, but still he got your present, bro. Like… I was not chill. Maybe he actually thought you were really yeah, you, you close and then you just didn't… He didn't talk to me for like 7 years and then all okay. of a sudden… Oh, 7 oh. years? Yeah. Yeah. And then he sent you some protein? Yeah. Damn, then he's tight. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he tried to buy your call with some protein. Hey guys, it's Ashley. Before we continue with the show, we wanted to give a quick shout out to our good friends at Honey. I know that saving money is always a priority, especially for our young listeners who may be saving up for important things like school or rent. Well, Honey is here to help with that. Honey is a free browser extension that will automatically search the internet for promo codes and apply the best one to your cart while you're shopping online. Honey works with over 30,000 online stores with a wide range such as stuff in fashion, makeup, food, and tech. Some listeners have even sent us messages saying that they want to start their own podcasts and that requires some equipment. So try and save yourself some costs as you pursue new hobbies. I love how easy Honey makes everything because sometimes I forget it's even in the browser. And then when I go to check out for something like new LPs for my record player, suddenly the Honey button drops down and all I have to do is click apply coupons. That is amazing. So if you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash get real. That's joinhoney.com slash get real. I don't know, man. Yeah. No, there are some friends though that you'd be down to, like you know, like it's like yeah, day one homies is like ah, there's a yeah, fire. fire. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'll sing for you. Yeah, but you know there are the people yeah. like that you no, kind of yeah, have yeah. to yeah. you know distinguish away from those type of people. I feel yo, there's so many topics we, we got to get into. Wanna, we we, we tried to get into which one? I want to do the copycat one. Like, copycat. did you ever feel like people would copycat you at school if you did or said something like a trend oh. or like not even? At school. Dang. Did you? I I, no, no, I I just wanted to ask you guys. I never really felt… I felt like this was a, a big girl thing kind of. Mm-hmm. Oh really? Yeah. Girls got mad at each other a lot for, yeah. a lot for like swag biting. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, for <laughs> Ashley's like, yeah, I got one. She followed my yeah. protein shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so are, were you the one who was copying or was there a girl that co- was copying you got on your nerves? Yeah, there was one girl who was copying me like, that got on my nerves. What was, was it? Was it the hairpin? It was like… It was just like clothes mainly. Like fashion oh. wise. But it's like flattering at the same time. But yeah. it's like when they try to copy everything. <gasps> um, it's kind of like… Yeah, yeah. Like stop jacking my style. Right. Yeah. And it's like the same color. Yeah. 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 Like just get another color. Yeah. yeah. From the same brand. What? There's least- gray, white, black. <laughs> get the black one because I got the white one. Why you got the yeah. white one? Yeah, that's different. Yeah. Oh, really? But I mean these days I feel like everyone just follows the trend. So you can't really be like, oh she copied me because right. there's so many other people doing it and it's everywhere. It's but harder. back then it was kind of more noticeable. Yeah. This was like in, in like junior a high school. Smaller, like, yeah. Circle, yeah. yeah, and You're there right. wasn't social media, Especially so you don't know yeah, what they everyone come else up is to you and then be like, Oh, that's like not cute. And then they have it the next day. <laughs> Then it's like, you want to fight right now with me? 
and it's gonna be yeah, they're bad. like what are you wearing like, wow the next day like i don't think this looks good on you and then she's like it looks good do people me. say that to you do people no, come no, no, up no. to you okay good of course not they can't oh my god <laughs> i'll cry <laughs> <laughs> yeah you did you general? guys have i had no. i was not a fashion <laughs> person i mm-hmm. never was i no. still am not um I just wore whatever my sister bought for me, so I can't say. Aww. I so I don't know if fashion wise, but it was like um a boyfriend um that I liked. Mm-hmm. I liked this guy, you know, yeah. like when I when I was back in high school. Uh-huh. And this friend of mine, I would call a friend back not not now. Uh-huh. Um I would tell her everything, like, I think he's really cute, but then she's like, oh, ew, like why? And then she was talking to the guy too. But oh. then she messaged him saying saying, like, do you wanna hang out? Ooh. And and that day, Kako story was really big mm-hmm. in Korea, um, which which is like oh a, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 I remember that time yeah, and yeah. then I saw her like um like writing ago. comments to every post of him like oh no the next day I told him that I have a crush on him real bad <gasps> and yeah that I don't know if it was copycatting but like she had to talk to every guy that I had a crush on yo there are oh, people like that yeah. though. I've heard a lot of stories like mm-hmm. that. Why? And, and then I was like, swoop on their man. She must have been like low key jealous of you, or like. Yeah. Nah, I think that's usually where it comes from. Yeah, I know insecurities. But it's that's really. So I so want to ask um, their emotions. Like, where does it come from? If everyone is in a relationship, you can just go to another person who is not in a relationship, but mm-hmm. she has to get someone that is in a relationship, yeah, and then like they that. feel really good about themselves yeah, if they probably. take it away from them I don't know but that's really 잘 맞지, weird 거야, yeah. 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 yeah I'm better is that mm-hmm. like the that like feeling of like winning them over I guess mm-hmm. yeah they're like addicted to that or something I don't know that's kind of weird that's, mm. but I do know there's like yeah. there's like a little different than that but I know there's some people that like they need verification <laughs> Oh, from okay. other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before they start like dating, they're like, like, oh, like she's she, like she's pretty, right? She's pretty, right? Like that's stupid. And then like if if like not everyone says like she's pretty, it's like oh no, yeah, no, I don't really like. Oh, <gasps> trash. There are people like that. I'm like, really? I was like, I was like, yeah. Who, do you think she's pretty? Like that's all that matters. What the? Oh my god. Yeah. No, stop. But it we might be. Like it might be. Like, it might be something like that. It's like oh, Jamie thinks like this guy's cute. Okay, I think he's cute. Yeah, maybe yeah, she yeah, thought yeah. highly of you. But it then might, she wanted to, she wanted to really get back at you. Why won't she just date me <laughs> if she thinks highly of me? Maybe and like, she thought highly of you, but she, she doesn't like you. Oh, sorry. Yeah. She didn't yeah. like she didn't like, she like she likes. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I don't have one, so okay. That was really… Like, for all the friendship that I had, that was the worst case. Mm. Going after a person that I like and she knows all the details. And she would be the one who would be talking about, I don't think that he's nice or, he, or he's cute. Dang. But then the next day you see her hitting up with him. Dang. That's just wrong. Yeah. That's, okay. You ever confront her about it? Like, yeah, yeah. We, talked. She wasn't cute. we talked. Oh, I don't think he's cute. Or oh wait, she did say he's cute, huh? Yeah, no, 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 he, she did not. Oh. You should. I mean, you were probably she, like too young then, but you should have like on her reply. You should reply. I thought you said he was ugly. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I took it. Oh, um, you should have just told him. Hey, she said you butt ugly, bro. <laughs> no, because he told me. Oh. oh, isn't she your best friend? Like, isn't aren't you guys close? Because she's been DMing me and she's been like making up group chats, mm. like including him. Mm. So that's the way how I knew that she was kind of like. Try to talk to him. That's so shady. I told her, um, I called her out, like just alone, and yeah. we had a talk. <gasps> she didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah. All right, guys, I think this is a good time to transition into mail time. Yes. Um, we have a message from our Discord user Darlene and she says, Hi guys, I'm just a normal college student trying to make it in life but I really want to create my own podcast. Ooh. Yo, I have a couple ideas on what I want to talk about but the thing is, thing that scares me and is holding me back from doing it is I don't have any followers. So is this a clout? Mm, I think she's in need of, she's in <laughs> need of kidding, a little kidding, bit of clout. Kidding. Just joking. You should have put your at one time right. by the way. Yeah. I'm not popular. I have a small, very small group. A uh, friend group and I have no connections or know anyone in the entertainment world. Because of where I stand in life, I do not know anyone who would want to listen to me. And I would, I really want to start one though and connect it to my career in the future. But I don't know how to get there when I have nothing. Any advice or words of wisdom 
would really be appreciated. Mm. Next time, share your ad. We'll shout you out. User is Darlene. So it's, I don't know if you use your name for your podcast name, but… Yeah, you I should mean, start now. Start, <laughs> just start. Just start. And then, yeah. you know, put it up on YouTube for now. Um, and if you got good content, then those followers are going to come naturally. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's Kujanam. I don't yeah, know how yeah. to consistency. Yeah, consistency. Yeah. Is, that's what oh, all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, wait, what? What did you just? Say? <laughs> yeah, good enough. Yeah, consistency is very important. Um, I feel like think of it as an investment almost right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, think long term too. Always thinking long term yeah. is best. If you're confident that you got good content, just start. Yeah. You if you have a friend that um has YouTube or something, I think they might help you out. But I don't know if she does. But yeah. Yeah. I don't think she does. She um, says she doesn't have any connections or know anyone. Oh. Honestly, yeah. one thing that I used to kind of look down upon was when um, beat makers mm. would… Uh, DM you. DM you slash comment on, on pictures like 10 times. Yeah, check my post. I used to be like, man, that's so whack. Why are you on my post? But nowadays… <laughs> like, but nowadays, I'm like, yo, get it how you can. And I'll actually try to listen. Mm. Yeah, because like, mm. you know, back in the day, I'd be like, damn, that's whack. But like nowadays, like, you know, if you don't have that outsource to to any type of artist or any anything, use every platform that you can, I feel. That's yeah. true. Yeah, and also, it's just it's the like, way how you um, approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, please, nicely. Yeah, do it nicely. Nicely. Then Write a nice everyone little comment. would be like… Happy mm. to listen to your music, but then no. it's just like, yo, check out, you know, this. I have a video of something, something, yo, something. Yeah. The then... people that are like, yo, I'm the next Drake. Like, check my <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of I'm a like, reach. It's like, yeah. I don't know about the next Drake, bro. Drake's pretty up there. But you know what? If those people are in your comments, that means you're getting up there, though. Mm. That, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, um, I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but mean, then and they're hungry for it too. If, if the they're post really is very hungry. serious and if it's about something that's very personal and you're like in a mood where you don't want any comments like that and yeah. they just like listen to my music, yeah, you know? it could be know. irritating. It could be it, irritating. if it's like that. Mm. Yeah, I don't get stuff like that on my comments, of course, but when I do go on like complex or you know really big Instagram sites, I always everywhere. see comments like yeah. check my page out for yeah. dope music, like yeah, check yeah, my yeah. page out for funny stuff. But I feel like that's everywhere now, even on YouTube. Mm. Um, small YouTubers will be leaving comments, and fellow YouTubers will be leaving comments on other YouTubers yeah. that they don't that they're not really close to. Uh. But then um, people get. Uh, people can see these YouTubers because right, right. it's like it'll be like a top comment. Yeah. And especially if they leave like a funny witty comment, then yeah. of course that instantly draws you to that right. person. They're like, oh, right. who is this person? Right, I'm right, curious. Right. And they'll go in. So I know that's like a popular tactic that YouTubers use. But I, I don't feel like it's a bad thing. It's mm-hmm. just like how you say do it. it. Like, yeah. It's yeah. just the, how you do Approach it. That's it, yeah. like yeah, yeah. the most important. Like don't be a douche and don't be a bitch. Like you just gotta Nobody sound genuinely nice. No. I think the biggest thing that I can say is just be sincere about your content and um, the way you share it. If you see, if you're passionate about it, people are gonna see it. So yeah. mm-hmm. you know, do your thing, Darlene. Yeah, Darlene. <laughs> Good luck. We have a message from Reddit user Three Sick Knee and I. Okay. Three Sick and I. Okay. My girlfriend and I have been together for four months. Things are going great. But ever since I have asked my girlfriend to be exclusive, she has been posting about us on Facebook. I don't mind her posting about us, but sometimes I feel like she wants the world to know she's taken and the way she portrays it is as if I'm a trophy or something. For example, she will post things like, Stay out of my inbox. I'm taken. I feel like she posts this to draw attention to herself and not let it be known that guys want her and leave her alone. Hold on, hold on. Let's stop here for a second. What? No, and let it be known and that le- guys want her and leave… Like she wants oh. to tell people like, oh, stop DMing me. Like I'm yeah, taken. Like, As listen, if popular. I am getting listen, so many DMs. If your girl's a dime, sh- this is gonna have guys second think se- sending her a, a, a DM. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like if I see that and like I'm single and I'm like stay out of my inbox. I'm like, oh, okay, she don't want me in her inbox. That's just what it means. <laughs> I don't know. That's just how I take it. Yeah. Um, I feel like this could be a little bit on the overthinking side. But like kuchi. Like, yeah. Do you have what? Do you have? Do you have to like? Do you have to say that? Why do you have to say that? Are you guys think it's kind of like too out there? Are you guys fighting? <laughs> <laughs> you think, you like, think it's too out there? Let's actually? sit back. Let's yeah, sit back and watch them. Chill, yeah. Yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let them argue it out. Okay, we have we have more um 
Okay, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. let, let me read the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. She oh, will tag more. me in everything, even simple Facebook questions. My first day being official, she changed her Facebook status to in a relationship. That's and three cute. days later, she asked me to change mine too. She followed me on Instagram and asked me to follow her back. When I buy her things, she posts them on Facebook. I feel like she validates our relationship through Facebook. Whereas me, I don't want a relationship to be based on social media. How do I try to get her to chill out on social media? Mm. Um, okay. I think I need to know another side of this story. Is same, she same, same. less like this in real life? Well, if if every date is for posting photos and yeah. Instagram, it would be yeah. irritating. But I don't know. I think she's really cute. You know, try. There's different no, like, ways. Yeah. No, it's. Like, I think it's how she reacts to like these presents or whatever in real life, though. Like you said, yeah. like let's say, like I don't know, it's like a bracelet or something. You know, like hey, is she you. is she just like she like takes a Shit. picture of it yeah. and she's like, oh my gosh, like my boyfriend got me this, and then she's just like. Eh. Oh, then there yeah, are people like, like that, that you know. Yeah, there are people like that. If it's like that, then it's like okay, yeah, that's, like showing, that's whack. yeah, like yeah, showing, yeah, yeah. 보여주기 연애. That's yeah, yeah. how we call it in Korea. Like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. when you're on a date, like take a selfie, like smile, and then like, oh my god, he took me out to a really nice cafe today, and then like, it's like. Yeah, and then you just like conversation. conversation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're just like checking and scrolling. And they were like, "Can we go home now?" <laughs> Eight. And 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 I feel like they're all. You also have to put. You also have to put into consideration some people really don't like this type of stuff too, mm-hmm. like just being on social media heavily. Yeah. Mm. Um. So. But I mean, it, yeah. Go. Go on. These days, like I feel like this stuff is kind of like normal though. Just like Facebook, yeah. like yeah. status change, like. Yeah, yeah. Really, you know? I felt like it was more normal when we were younger, but I feel like these days people don't do it as much. Or maybe because my friend group, we don't do it, I'm, and I don't I'm, do it. Because I gotta admit, when I was in high school and junior high school, I was like this girl mm. because I was so obsessed with like Zynga and MySpace and Facebook, and yeah. mm. especially with Facebook when it was uh, just popping up. Like you know, getting the like button was so satisfying. So mm. you know, I would write like posts, like long ass posts about <laughs> you know dates, and then like post pictures even on. Tumblr. I went off on Tumblr. Um, and I just… I don't know. I, I think I really liked the attention. More than like… the. Of course, I enjoyed the attention my boyfriend gave me. But it was also the comments like… Oh my god. So cute. You're yeah. so lucky. You're so sweet. You feel special yeah. when you mm-hmm. see that kind of stuff. Don't but yeah, then yeah. now I'm just so like… I want to… What, what is it called? 보여주기식? 보여주기식 mm-hmm. well, it's it's really wasn't just <laughs> 보여주기식. But it was… 보여주기식 is something like you… You go to this place because you want to take photos. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's something that she was doing in her daily life. But then mm-hmm. she just posted. That's yeah, kind it of was, it yeah. went It went a little overboard. Because I remember the next boyfriend that I dated. He was like… I remember seeing your Tumblr post and being like… Damn like this guy must treat her mad good. How am I going to live up to his standards? Oh. But it was more like… You know I over exaggerated when I wrote these things. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Um, I mean… Yeah. I don't know like how, how old is this person. But still yeah. like… But if you guys don't like… If the other person doesn't like it… You should Come talk her, through yeah. it. Yeah. I mean we can't really because of our… Because of our occupation. We yeah, can't yeah. really do that. But of course. if it wasn't for the occupation… Do you guys think you'd be… Do you you guys think you would do the love Instagram stuff? No because I think I'm in this place. Mm-hmm. I would want to try. But if it was just normal life for me… Mm-hmm. I think I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I think to some degree I would. Yeah, to yeah. some degree. Mm-hmm. I want to be like every day like, oh my gosh, it's like <laughs> oh, no, 100 <laughs> day, day. Yeah. Like, I don't think I would post like <laughs> in my description box like no nudes, no twerk videos, no pictures, no DMs. I'm taking oh, like… God. Yeah. 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 Was taking, like, Such like a junior. Why? You want, you want those but videos? But I would want to try <laughs> no, like I do get them. <laughs> you, love you want them? No, no, no. Because this never comes back. Like I'm in my early 20s and I mm. I don't even have experience for love story. My oh, I see my friends like you know hashtagging their boys under the nostril like and stuff. <laughs> and like tagging my boyfriend like cuddly boyfriend like vibes mm. matching pajama pictures. Aww. That's so cute. Yeah. I'm yeah. like I'm just yeah. liking it and just you know post like crying emojis. <laughs> Yeah. That that's why I like looking at Hyuna's Instagram. Because yeah, her and Don are so, that is so cute. Uh-huh. Yeah. That is They're a good couple. That's yeah. really cute. Are they like the only public… Oh no there are a lot but… Like an no, like, idol, but posting Instagram right? photos, mm. yeah, and just like I, really I, public, public. Yeah, just, but they have a lot of supporters. People yeah. love it because they don't see a lot of that. I think that it needs to be more viral, like mm. cool, get from the manager, like viral. Yeah, 
So you should do next. Oh. Dude, I saw this. I, I watched this like tea spill video on YouTube. Like I don't follow all the YouTube drama because there are so many. So many. But there are so many couples that like get together, break up, get together, break up. And there was this YouTube couple that made eight different videos just about up. their breakup. Right. And each video had like over a million views, of course. And then the guy started writing a book about like how to be a good boyfriend, like dating coach Which, and stuff like that's that. That's for so real they're, clout. They're just trying to monetize everything they do. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that is, that's um, my head hurts. <laughs> I don't know. I think, um, eight different videos about their breakup. Mm -hmm. When they get more views, the expectations that that the fans have, they have to keep yeah. it up with it. So when they start the YouTube, right? It, I think it's not. They didn't really think of how it's going to change mm -hmm. the relationship, and then. So if that type of stuff is kind of dictating. The, the direction of where your relationship is going. I think you kind of need to look at your relationship one more time. Mm. Yeah. But there are people like both guy and girl in the relationship who know what they're doing is for clout. And you then, know, then, they… But if they like it, I don't I don't think it's a problem. I know? mean, if, if, if it's for clout and like you're damn near acting in front of the camera. But like behind <laughs> the camera and you guys are like good and whatnot and whatever… Make your money, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> do you? <laughs> yeah, do you, I guess. I mean, you know, I, I can't. But I'm just like really… I really want to ask them how they film these like… Yeah. You know, like when they hug each other. Like it's in a perfect angle. Like literally they it's have a, like cameras like that. And they're like… I love you. And it's like, pretty much acting, right? I don't know, I don't know how, how you film like, that. How many yeah. takes did you… <laughs> yeah. It's like… Like she's like, ask me again. Ask me again. Oh. I don't know. I don't know how they film it. It's, it's really… I don't know how. I mean… I'm sure how? if they've been YouTubing for a while… They know all the angles and stuff already. So… Yeah. You mm. know? Uh, I can't knock on it. But I don't support but, it. I but guess. in the beginning… I, don't, I, don't I, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. I think I'm not that kind of person too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I do of something like in that. Yeah. yeah. I can't, we kind of went off track. But to answer yeah. your question… I feel like one… Um, it depends on your perspective of it. I mean your perspective and her perspective on the relationship could be a little bit different. different. Um, you could confront her nicely about it. Be like, hey, why everything got to go on Facebook? Why can't me and you kind of be like me and you here now? Mm -hmm. mm. If you feel like she's too, you know, uh, invested into her social media and her phone. So yeah, hopefully this is some good advice. Um, yeah, I mean… I yeah. would just confront her. I'd be like… Yeah. yeah. Can you stop posting it, photos? Like yeah. <laughs> we don't… Have enough information. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Kinda... We don't know what age you are. Like, if you're if you're on your sixteen, mm. so uh... then girl, she she wants to post everything. Mm -hmm. So just just come <laughs> just talk to her about it. Yeah, but yeah. don't make it seem like you're like attacking her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then yeah. she could come back. Why you post? Yeah, she <laughs> could come yeah. back with that. I'm showing the world how much we love each yeah. other and how much you yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. me and show showing you know I'm just you know yeah. showing everyone our affection. So. Don't let her say that though. Confront. You be smart. With love, with don't love. Criticize. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. yeah. All right. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that was some good advice for you guys. Um. We we got into a lot. We could have gone into more. I feel like this episode can have a part two. To be honest with you. But um, cloud, yeah. Yeah, man. We got in, in on a lot about cloud. Um, if you are a a uh, cloud chaser that takes unnecessary means to get that cloud. Kind of check yourself one time. Yeah, then f*** you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, if you need it, you know, I feel like it's a big necessity nowadays. But, uh, you know, get it how you can. Be sincere. And uh, yeah, man. Be polite. And um, get your money, boo-boo. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. Uh, guys, if you wish to stay updated on this show, IG and Twitter at The Dive Studios. Full episodes on YouTube.com slash Dive Pods. Once again, subscribe to and review this podcast. Thank you everyone for coming out. Thank you again, Jamie, for thank joining you, us. Thank you. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Do anything for clout. Do anything for clout. Can you guys all shout out your social media right now? Oh, yeah. Uh, at GmanXGame is my Instagram. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> also… This is uh, Matthew's oh, yeah. brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my brand. Healer World. A -A -A. Yes. Bullying.
Hello, this is Joan Kim. Hi, this is Stephanie Makova. And we're here to let you know that we are premiering our very own show here at Dive Studios. It's called The Beauty Bar, and we're your beauty tenders, and we'll talk about everything skincare related, beauty related, and give you some inside scoop on the hottest products and trends from South Korea. But also, we want this show to be a space where we discuss bigger topics and how we can best let our inner beauty shine through. Because guess what? You're beautiful. And you're hot. And you're smart. Whoa, maybe we're coming on a little strong, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> Me too. Okay, so let's go. We'll see you all at the beauty bar. Make sure to subscribe to the show on Spotify or Apple Podcasts so you never miss an episode. See you soon. Hey, did you like this video? If so, click the subscribe button. And make sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. And listen to the entire audio episode on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Bye!